Uh, for me, hopefully I don't, I don't encounter him on the pitch. I don't want to be anywhere near him with his feet. Uh, yeah, I'll try to stay out of his channels for me. When I'm playing, I'm only looking for Franny on the field, so uh, hopefully I do bump into him a few times. <laughs> Mismatches. <laughs> Um, I think, you know, it's, it, it's a weird one because training is, is very tough when you're away, but I'm um, not saying training is tough here, but it's such a long period of time when you're in camp and days are very, very long. So, you know, when you're training here, we're in at eight most mornings and we, we leave at three. So you do get that bit of time at home. Um, you know, you miss the boys and you, you, you miss you miss playing out here week in, week out. Yeah, same as that, really. <laughs> Good answer, Fran. Yeah, you took it all. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a nice after the game. During the game, you don't really have a chance to think about it. You're, you're focused on the game in hand. You're not thinking who their winger is or who their centre is. You're focused on your job, really. But afterwards, it's nice to have that beer, have that sit down, talk about anything that's happened back at the Chiefs or catch up. Or a few beers, not just one, maybe a couple. <laughs> Depends. How does it feel three. to represent the Chiefs on the international stage? Um, no, I think, I think it's pretty cool. I think... I say it quite often, but you know, if it isn't for the boys that you, you play, with, play with week in, week out, then you probably wouldn't be wearing that shirt and you probably wouldn't be out there playing. So uh, you know, it's definitely down to, to the players back here. Um, probably not Kai Horseman, um, but all the other players as well. So uh, yeah, it's definitely down to them. Yeah, it's the image of the club. You want to you portray that well on the scene and you have that chance, that opportunity to do it. So you want to go out there and show what the Chiefs are about. Um, well, one of the weirdest was Dunedin. That's uh, got a big greenhouse down there. It's quite, it's quite a strange, strange feeling playing indoors, but but not on. Yeah, it's weird. Probably the Mene in Penzance. Field, yeah. of, field of Dreams. Um, international. Oh, yeah, probably the Mene in Penzance. <laughs> okay. Other than the Mene. Um, <laughs> international. Yeah, I think New Zealand in the summer. You know, their stadiums are pretty cool down there. Dunedin, like. Like Franny said, that was a bit of an experience. Um, I don't know, really, yeah. Wales, well, yeah, they, to be fair, they, um, they've got a great, great stadium there and the atmosphere there is always, is always pretty cool. Um, Food-wise, in camp, <laughs> Wait, look at me. how does it compare to cheese food? Oh, it's... it's uh, it's completely different. You, there, you don't have to think about food at all. You, every meal's catered for you. You've four or five meals a day, snacks, protein, everything's out for you. It's, uh, it's good, but you have to watch yourselves. Yeah, it's quite hard to sneak in you know, the Nandos and the Wagamamas and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously nice to have everything done and ready for you, and you can eat, you can eat as much as you want there because it's all good for you, isn't it? So.